Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Axeman Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing a little uh, commentary um, on my War Thunder game. And I had recorded this, and I had gone through, you know, through all my tanks, and I was explaining to you uh, why the the M26 E1 American tank, which is basically the Pershing. Um, I'm not not a tank expert, so if calling it a Pershing offended you, please, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, I decided to upload something because you know it's been a while, and I just feel like I just felt like it, and I was dedicated enough to do it. So first part of this is you know just me driving around. Um, I ended up doing really good with this, and. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it was because I thought I was, it was because I was recording for YouTube, and so, um, I just did really good, I, I had at least five or so kills, I was number one in the entire match, um, not even kidding, I have a screenshot of it for Steam, um, it was just an all-around epic game, um, first thing I wanna say about this is that, the the M the M26 has the M82 round, which some of you may know, but in a 90 millimeter, that, that's pretty that's pretty good. Um, a lot of you would think that the high velocity composite ridged round, or otherwise, basically just a really good armor piercing round, uh, would be better. And and it, in sense it is because you get through more armor. Um, as you can see by the shell uh, right here, uh, you, you can get through more armor, but there's no explosion effect. Well, the M82 round allows you to get that explosion and do just a little bit more damage, and as long as you hit green or yellow, um, usually green and most of yellow targets, uh, will prove to be the most effective as, you know, it's green and yellow. Uh, red you can do, and it'll do just a bit of damage, but that's only because it's, you know, it's, it's a slightly armor-piercing effect. Um, so, yeah, and then also, because this is a tank you buy with your Golden Eagles, everything's already unlocked for it, uh, which means you only have to focus on using, you, you know, working on your crew. Um, currently, the adjustments I have is... A little bit better driver, so he know you know he knows how to do his job just a smidge better, and also uh, the reloading is better. Um, I think it's like 14 point something, and I got it down to about 13.6. And upgrading that only takes it down a point one, which is pretty dumb considering it's a point one. But then again, you got to realize if this were real life. 13 seconds to reload this is pretty good um, so let's begin you know start off just kind of you know looking at my team thinking who I'm gonna go who, who I'm gonna sit with and who I'm gonna roll with uh, I decided to go this way mostly because uh, from the minimap it looked like the majority of my team was going this way and in sense it was and in sense it was um, Sorry about that, I just had to adjust the camera so I could rotate it. Um, Alright, so you can see some guys up there um, to my north, I guess, not really sure. Um, so these guys start battling, I look over here to see if there's anyone, and I'm not, you know, a little weird ground, so. Got some tanks coming up behind me, so not too concerned. I'm sitting here trying to look if I can get these guys. Doesn't look like I can get these guys. Um, so I uh, continue moving on. I see that little light tank, so I'm just sitting there going, okay, well, what kind of tier am I in? Look at that guy. You know, because he's a Sherman. Just looking around at all these tanks, and I'm thinking I'm in a lower tier game. And then that guy's being a, a, a derp. A derp bot 5000. Um, I don't know why I chose to drove right here. But I did, and it was probably stupid. But then again, everyone else is going that way, and it's just a nice big little cluster. Uh, again, looking over here, because I'm thinking people are over here battling. I thought about going up there, but then seeing all the tank traps and just how 
uh, retarded the landscape is, I decided to come down here and see these rocks and think I'm going to die. Uh, I don't die, you just drive right through them. And then I'm like, whoa, there's there's a guy. There's, you know, there's a guy in here. There's a few guys over here. And then I come up here, you know, this light tank's being a retard. Comes, rams into me, messes up my shot. I lag out, you know, I back up to let this retard do whatever he wants to do. I'm shooting my rounds over to see if it can get over the hill. Uh, I don't think it did. Uh, I'm still looking for that one chance. So there's a Tiger 2 in front of me, and a Tiger 2 is, you know, pretty damn good. Uh, an M4A3 against a Tiger would definitely not, you know, help. That was my artillery strike I just used right there. Um, I come up here to get a shot on him. Shoot around. I destroyed the uh, Tiger 2. I'm backing off like, uh, holy crap, I just one shot that dude. Um, and then I look over here and I see this guy coming over and I'm like, well, should I drive over this little ridge? And I was like, no, because, you know, he'll shoot my, you know, my belly. And then I was, you know, I'm sitting here going, come on, come on, drive over here. A and I know he knows I'm here, but what, can what makes me wonder is why did he decide to shoot that guy and then let me come over here? And again, right now I'm being a derp because I'm sitting here, you know, turning and everything, and I and I shoot him, okay, and I about to run away. I think it was a critical hit. Or did I just kill him? I guess I did. Uh, not sure. Someone else might have killed him. I think I killed him. But still, you know, he's just being a little derp, and then I, you know, I shot him. And then now this is the I'm looking kind of over there seeing you know tiger ones and tiger twos and I see I see that uh, king tiger as I like to call him and I'll go over here and I see this KV2 and I'm like oh crap I gotta get this guy um, completely oblivious to all these other tanks that could have killed me I, you know, I shoot the KV2 uh, I did a little bit of damage on him I think I, I apparently I set him a fire according to the uh, thing and then still just shooting him shoot him another time and I killed a KV-2 and I was like holy crap I just killed a KV-2 this is like my third or you know, second kill so now I'm looking back over here because there's that Tiger 2 again uh, Cappy Closinario whatever his name is and I, I'm looking at him he's barely poking over uh, this hill right here where he's at anyways so I shoot him Again, seeing if my you know, rounds can go over, and I think I damage his little uh, thing right here, this little hatch, the window on the hatch, which is pretty weird. Um, so, can, driving up here, seeing this king tiger over here, I'm sitting here going, "Okay, okay, you know that, you know that'll keep me alive." And I'm shooting him. I hit him. I didn't do much. Um, I think what I, I think I got, a, yeah, I got a critical hit on him, and so he started backing off, I don't know, I checked my six, well, my, f uh, three or, yeah, my three o'clock, maybe? Uh, I look at this guy again, I'm debating on whether or not to push up, I decide to not push up, because I'd be sitting in this circle, and I'd be prone to BC, uh, artilleried, I guess. Um, during this whole battle, I'm surprised that no planes tried to kamikaze or shoot me. Um, so I'm just kind of looking over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I see, I, I, I don't really notice this king move up. I just kind of move up on my own. That tank's uh, sitting there. I think that's an AI. But I do see that other tiger, and I shoot him, and I do destroy him. And then there's a tiger H1 over here. So then this guy right here, he's having his little battle. He gets hit, and I'm like, ah, crap. You know, this guy is probably going to be a pain. You know, I come over here, and... Bleep, I run away. But not to fear, I called artillery on him. Like, two things of artillery on him, because those kills give you artillery. I come out here, and I knew the artillery would get him to move away. Um, that, that's probably 105 uh, Sherman right there, and you know, completely oblivious. You know, still, 
that, you know, there's these tanks over here that could easily come around. But I'm driving through my own artillery, you know, so is my teammate. And I'm sitting here going like, ah, crap! Come on here. Bam! I think I got a critical hit on him. Not too sure. I did kill him. Yes, I killed him. Not too sure where it said that, but I am pretty I know I killed him. Um, I hit this little tank over here. Because I, I, I look over to my right and I'm like, ah crap. And I do kill him. I hit him, I think I got a, a just a regular hit, and then I finished him off with a 50 cal, which is surprising to me because, you know, 50 cal against, you know, the frontal armor, I guess the, you know, angle was decent enough. Um, but now this King Tiger up here is battling this Panther A. I see the Panther A, the corner of the Panther A, anyways, and I shoot him. I think I hit him, but it, from the looks of it, I hit the ground, more or less. And I called two things of artillery on him. Uh, still surprised that I killed that tank right there and well, like all these other tanks. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I move up because I'm like, you know what, this ti this King Tiger over here, the Killer Cobra, he's been my friend. I, I love him. And I shoot him, you know, I shoot him. I'm like, ah, crap. There's like 20 of them over there. Panther, another Tiger, each one. You know, I'm still shooting some 50. I think this is the part where I back up. Well, I mean, you know, I do, but then I'm like, okay, you know, time to move forward. I still think that my ally is alive. I just now realize he's dead. That tiger shoots me. I think he tracked me. No, he didn't. Uh, he does surprise me, though. That panther D, and I'm scoped in right now, so I don't see the panther D. He moves up. He tracks me. Um, no, actually, he doesn't. He just gets me to uh, stall. I shoot him. Another tank rolls up. Two more, a few more tanks. Look at all these tanks. They're all shooting at me, and I died. And I'm so sad, so so sad, because I was doing so so good. And, you know, they drive past me, and then I go to my tier two AA and do just about nothing. So yeah, I uh, I I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks, guys. Make sure to subscribe. It helps out my channel a lot. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment below uh, if you want me to make more of this or you want me to do a different tank. I don't have many, so only tier 1 to tier th 2 and a little bit of 3. Um, so yeah, I will be getting Mountain Blade Warband soon to continue my other video, the How to Change Your Banner. Um, in version 1.53, uh, the cheat menu still works. Um, I know the current version is like 1.66 or 1.67. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting that sometime next week, maybe. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And make sure to have a great day.